Hi everyone, welcome to Advanced Korean Vocabulary. I'm not sure if you can see that because of the focus. Oh, uh, got the F stop kind of stopped down. Um, anyway, on YouTube, you probably noticed there's a preponderance of videos out there for beginners. Everyone focuses on the beginners because that's the largest group of people out there that want to learn Korean. And of the stuff that I've uh, posted on koreanchamp.com and other places, by far, right, overwhelmingly the most popular videos have been the basics. So saying your age in Korean was one of the most popular um, Korean teaching videos that I had ever posted. Uh, but what I want to do with this channel is focus on the niche market, which by the way, that expression exists in Korean and it came from English, 틈새 시장. 틈새 시장에 초점 두고 싶습니다. I uh, want to focus on the niche market of intermediate to advanced learners. And uh, But in my videos, I'm going to start with some easy words then we'll move to intermediate and then hard words. So I'll still offer something for everyone. Um, I'm gonna focus mostly though on advanced learners. So today's topic, we're gonna learn 10 words related to meals, dining, eating out, and so on. And then we're gonna look at advanced uh, uh, example, sentence, example sentences that use those words. And from now on, I'd like to do a lecture like this maybe once a week uh, because I know what it's like to have finished the advanced levels of Korean, still have a long way to go in your language learning odyssey, but there are no offerings, uh, there are no classes out there for even advanced intermediate learners. Uh, they pretend like if you finish level 6 or level 7, which I've taken, that you're, you're done. But that's not the truth. You still, that's just the beginning. And so I want to really focus uh, my channel on advanced Korean learners and I believe in certain ways I'm uniquely qualified to teach advanced learners because of my career as a translator, as a newspaper translator and script translator for more than 10 years and also uh, because I know what it's like for a non-native Korean speaker to have to wrap your mind around uh, these Korean grammatical conjugations and, and the difficulties that English speakers especially can face when learning advanced Korean. Uh, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started. So the subject today is um, eating, right? Eating out, dining. So the basic words I'm sure everyone knows, right? 먹다 is to eat, so 먹었어요, but it's kind of grown in and expanded uh, to include more things that we wouldn't say in English. Uh, for example, uh, drinking uh, in English would be, right, I, I drank alcohol, I drank a beer, but in Korean people will often say, uh, I think you ate, literally ate a lot of alcohol. But that's perfectly natural in Korean. So people normally uh, in the old days might have said, 마시다. I think he drank a lot, but the, the usage has expanded. So I'm not talking about what's grammatically right or, or what uh, the government tells us is right or wrong. I'm talking about what people actually say. And the truth is that it's about half the time people will say and half the time so it's important to know both. Another thing that doesn't exist in English uh, is to eat medicine, right? So in English, eat implies to chew, right? To masticate and swallow. So you don't normally chew your pills, right? Uh, so we wouldn't say I ate my medicine. We would say I took my medicine. But in Korean, it's fine to say 약 먹었어요. So 언제 언제 약 먹어야 돼요? How often? When do I have to take this medicine? There's also the verb 복용하다, which means to take medicine as well. But just between, you know, in common everyday dialogue, people will often use 먹다 for yak, for pharmaceuticals, and also for 술, for alcohol. So, 맥주 많이 먹었나 봐. He drank a lot. It looks like you drank a lot of beer, right? And then 많이 취했나 봐. Looks like he's really drunk. All right, but today's lesson is uh, vocabulary, 10 vocabulary words related to dining. 
So the first one, 식사. 식사들 했어요? Have you all eaten? Uh, 식사 보통 어떻게 해요? Right? How do you normally eat? Where do you normally eat? Um, so 식사 is a meal to dine, and 식사하다 is the verb. Then 외식, 외식 is out, right? 외, 야외, 외구 means out, right? And 외식 to eat out. So 외식 보통 외식해요? 아니면 집에서 요리해요? Do you normally eat out or do you cook at home? Next, 회식. So it's similar to 회식 except the aspirated H sound. 회식, 회식. So it's a company get together. That 회 is the same as 회사, as in company. So a group of people. So it means literally to eat in a group, but it normally refers to company get togethers that are a major part of corporate life here in Korea. So, uh, 보통 회식 자주 해요? 자주 하는 편이에요? So, do you guys um, have a lot of company get-togethers? So, yeah, they're on the often side, right? So, yeah, we have them on the frequent side. 근데 한국어로 얘기할 때 자주 하는 편이에요. So, yeah, they're on the frequent side. They're on the often side. Uh, it's a little wordy in English, but it works in Korean. So yeah, we have a lot of company get-togethers. All right, 다음에 야식. So 야, in this case, it means night, night time. So 야간 is during the night, and 야시장 is a night market. 야식 is to eat at night. And 간식, a simple meal, a snack, 간식. 과식, that 과 means to go beyond what's reasonable, right? So beyond the limit. So, for example, sometimes when you pay at a restaurant, 한도 조과하셨습니다. You've exceeded your limit. You're over your limit on this card, right? So that's the same 과, which means to go overboard, right? So, and there's also the word uh, 과도하다, 과도한 모모, which means excessive. Something is beyond the prescribed limits. So, 정도 is a limit. And 초과하다 is to exceed the limit. So 과도한 means to go beyond the limit. And then you can say whatever else you want, like a, a uh, punishment that goes too far, right? Or whatever. All right, next. Uh, 가공 식품. Foodstuffs would be 식품. 가공, processed, right? From the factory. So processed foods. 식중독 is um, food poisoning. So, 식, 식 중독 좀 걸린 것 같아요. I think I'm coming down with food poisoning. I think I got food poisoning. And the last one, last but not least, uh, 식기. So, the tools you need to eat, or as they're more commonly known, utensils. All right, so now we'll take a look at the example sentences that incorporate that vocabulary. All right, so in the first sentence, we have 식사, which is to have a meal, and 해결하다, to find a solution or to solve. 외식하다, to eat out. 아니면은 해먹다, to make something, to fix a meal. Alright, ready? 보통 식사를 어떻게 해결해요? 주로 외식해요? 아니면 집에서 해먹어요? So normally, 보통 식사를 meal eating 어떻게 how 해결해요? How do you solve the meal problem, right, literally? but can be translated as, what do you normally do for meals, right? What do you do for food? 주로 외식해요? Do you normally, um, the majority of the time, do you eat out? 주로 외식해요? Do you normally eat out? 아니면, or, if that's not the case, 집에서, at home, 해먹어요? Do you do a meal? Do you fix a meal at home? All right, so one more time. 보통 식사를 어떻게 해결해요? What do you do for meals? 주로 외식해요? Do you normally eat out? 아니면 집에서 해 먹어요? 아니면 do, do you normally make something at home? Do you cook meals at home? All right, next. Uh, so this sentence has 회식, company get together, and 과음하다, to over drink. So that's the same 과, 지나칠 과 that we learned, to go overboard. But instead of 과식, to overeat, it's 과음, to drink too much. Okay, to overdrink. 과음도 하게 되고, 야식. This sentence also contains 야식, to eat at night. 
Alright, here we go. 이번 주 내내 회식을 했더니 몸이 안 좋아요. So, we've had company get-togethers constantly this week. All week, we've had company get-togethers. And now, uh, my body's giving me trouble. Right? My body's not playing along. <laughs> 몸이 안 좋아요. My body's not doing too well, right? Uh, next, 아무래도 과음도 하게 되고 I always end up drinking too much. 하게 되다 is like to end up and 과음. I always end up drinking too much and 야식도 많이 먹게 되니까요. I always end up eating late at night. Right? So those two factors add up to right, give me trouble. So that's why I'm not feeling too well. So 이번 주 내내, continuously this week, 회식했더니, after, after having all these company get-togethers this week, my body, right, is complaining. My body's had enough. I'm not feeling too well. And then 아무래도 과음도, 과음도 하게 되고, 야식도 많이 먹게 되니까요. So it must be because, right, I always end up drinking too much and eating late at night. All right, next, 출출하다 is to be slightly hungry. Uh, 간식, as we learned, learned, is snack. And 가공식품, processed foods, 살찌다 is to gain weight. So let's use all of those in a sentence. 출출할 때마다 그렇게 간식으로 가공식품을 먹으니까 살이 찌지. So every time, 뭐뭐 할 때마다 means every time. So 공부할 때마다, every time I study, right? 공부하려고 그 하려고 할 때마다 방에 어, 방에 있어요. 뭐 방에 하려고 하는 사람 들어와요. Right? Every time I try to study, somebody comes in and uh, distracts me, bothers me. Or 촬영. What I'm doing now is filming. So 촬영 하려고 할 때마다 복도에 지나가는 사람들이 저를 도도 보게 돼요. Every time I try to film, the people in the hallway, the people passing by, end up staring at me. Right? Um, so, 뭐뭐 할 때마다, 공부할 때마다, every time I study, 식사할 때마다, every time I eat, every time I dine. Uh, 전화 걸 때마다, 그냥 그, 걔는 스스로 끊겨요. Every time I try to place a call, right, it gets cut off on its own for some reason. Okay? So that's how you can use that, sentence, that sentence or that phrase. So, 출출할 때마다, every time you're even a little hungry, 그렇게, like that, 간식으로 가공식품을, you have processed foods as a snack, so no wonder uh, you've been gaining weight. Okay, so it's no wonder that you're gaining weight. All right, next, 오늘 속이 너무 안 좋아요. I feel sick to my stomach. Uh, 과식해서 그런지 아니면은, 아니면 식중독 uh, 증세인지 모르겠어요. So I, I don't feel too good. I feel a little sick to my stomach. Maybe it's because I overate. Maybe it's a uh, sign. Maybe it's a sign of food poisoning. All right. So 증세, a symptom of. So I don't. When you don't know why something's happening, you can use this phrase. 뭐뭐 해서인지. So 공부 너무 늦게까지 해서 그런지. Maybe it's because I studied too late last night. 어제 술 너무 많이 먹어서 그런지 물이 잘안 돌아가요. Maybe I drank too much last night. Maybe that's the reason my mind isn't working. Right? <laughs> okay? So, uh, 그렇게 쓰시면 돼요. 식중독, food poisoning. Alright, next. 일이 너무 힘들어서 회사를 그만두고 싶지만 식구가 늘어서 그만둘 엄두도 못 내겠어요. So, uh, work has been so tough, I really want to quit. 그만두고 싶긴 한, 한, 한데, 그만두고 싶지만, I really want to quit. 근데 식구. So, literally, a mouth to feed. 식, like we learned, to feed, to eat, and 구, a mouth or an opening. So, 식구, uh, a dependent, someone who relies on you, a relative that you take care of. So, 식구, mouths to feed in English. So I'd really like to quit. Work's been so tough, I really want to quit. Um, but now that I have all these mouths to feed, I can't even consider it. 
So something that you can't even consider, I can't even entertain that idea now that I have kids running around, right? 이제 식구가 생겨서 그런 생각도 그런 엄두도 못 내겠어요. I can't even consider it. All right, 그 다음에 next one. Uh, if you eat at a food court, you'll often see this sign. 식구 반납하는 곳. So literally the place to return your utensils. Or you might see 쟁반. 쟁반 is tray. So 쟁반 반납하는 곳. So that's the Sino-Korean word for um, to return, right? Library books, right? 책 반납했어요? Did you return your library books? And the pure Korean, more casual form would be 돌려주다. So 친구한테서 uh, 빌렸던 볼펜 돌려주었어요. So I gave my friend back the pen that I had borrowed. Right? That's what that means. Alright, so 식기 반납하는 곳. Literally, the place where utensils are returned. Alright, next, and you might see this or hear this at the restaurants. Uh, 여기 수저, 수저 좀 갖다 주세요. So, 여기 수저 없는데. We don't have silverware. So, literally, a spoon and chopsticks. We don't have a spoon and chopsticks. So, if you want to ask for that, 수저 좀 갖다 주세요. So, please give us some silverware. Please give us chopsticks and spoons. Alright, so today we took a look at some advanced more dinner related, food related vocabulary. So, 한국어로 얘기할 때, in Korean, vocabulary is 어휘. And vocabulary as in a skill, like that guy has a great vocabulary. You take the word 어휘, which means vocabulary words, and combine it with 력, or 력, which is power, 힘. So, 어휘력 정말 뛰어났어요. He has an outstanding vocabulary. All right? So I think we looked at some um, important words and I hope that I provided something uh, for all the spectrum of learners out there from beginners, intermediate and advanced. And from now on, I plan to do one of these lessons per week. So spread the word, right? 소문 좀 널리 퍼뜨려 주세요. Please spread the word uh, that I'm doing this for intermediate and advanced learners. And like I said, always with my channel, uh, I haven't focused on the masses. I do the videos that I want to do when I want to do them. And I try to focus on lesser served groups of people. And so I know that for anyone beyond the intermediate level in Korean, it's tough to find uh, learning materials out there. So from now on, I'll be doing these shows once a week. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Hope this is helpful. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.